so um, just at the exhibition, Brigas Margam in A Cell 4. So here's some of my artwork up. Uh, so you have Bai Jagrad Singh, or Basics of Sikhi. I'm going to give this as a, um, as a gift to his wife. So yeah, I think it's come out really, really good actually. I'm quite happy. I think my beard technique has come out quite well because uh, it's kind of changes over the time. But I'm actually improved. Uh, eyes were a bit off before, but now I managed to get them right. And uh, here's my Battle of Sarangari. Yeah, so here's my artwork. I've moved it about so it's closer to here. It was actually over on that wall over there, but uh, they haven't turned up. So, one of my favorite drawings. Um, I wonder why. I'll tell you why. 21 Sikhs against 10,000 Afghan Mujahideen uh, in 1897 called the Battle of Serengeti. All of them passed, all of them died in battle, but they took out. Guess how many? Mujahideen? 400. 400. Yeah, big up uh, the Battle of Serengeti. Uh, actual uh, copy that's in uh, Sanders Military Academy. There's uh, another one. This is uh, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the 10th Guru. With his son Baba Ji Singh. These are actually prints. These are originals. Um, and so that's uh, one of my favorite ones. Um, father and son. Uh, another hero called Baba Deep Singh uh, come out of retirement to push back the aggressive Mughal army and uh, yeah he defeated them and pushed them back but he passed he died in the process um, sad story this is a Guru Gobind Singh Ji's or the 10th Guru's youngest sons Zara Baba Zara Waram Pate Singh and Jote um, Saibs are there they're both um, martyred yeah, they both were executed for not converting to Islam um, not being an Islamophobe, I'm just giving a story. They didn't convert to Islam and they were bricked up alive, uh, six and nine. So then you have uh, obviously my other artwork. Uh, you got my larger pick of uh, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, uh, the 10th Guru. Once again, uh, this is like the happy family all together. Uh, a nun called Saib in the background. And uh, yeah, so. It's actually a nice drawing. It's actually matching this one actually. So they're supposed to be side by side, as you can see. Uh, this is Martha Saibko, which is Guru Gobind Singh's wife, and she's traveling to Anandpur Saib. So it's kind of like she's going from here to, to there. And it's like a journey. And you can see you got a lot of, this is the original, so you got all the little kind of like thingies, the little rabbits, and little kids, and horses, and yeah, a lot of detail in that a hell of a long time and this is my one of my favorites actually because you got Guru Tegh Bahadur which is Guru Gobind Singh Ji's father and the 10th Guru and his wife Mata Gujri and that's Guru Gobind Singh Ji as a baby and uh, I think it's Patana Saib, yeah Patana Saib in the background where he was born and then uh, yeah you got the eagle and everything so, yeah I think it looks pretty great a nice little thing so yeah uh, just so that people know it is me, as you can see. Uh, I'm making it up. It's like a lot of people find it surprising how I can draw. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So, oh, this is uh, actually my calendar out. I think I showed it last time anyway, but I'll leave them out so you got my name. It's a 2017 calendar. And you can kind of see some of my other artwork as well. I don't want to show too much of it. And then you got all of this kind of stuff. Uh, it's out. It's out of date, so it doesn't really thingy. Sikh soldiers, February. Uh, sword Singh. So you can see my uh, technique on the beard has come along quite a long way, actually. I think. So that's actually a smaller version. Uh, animal cruelty drawing. Yeah, you need to stop eating meat, guys. Uh, this is about veganism, and yeah, I'm gonna become a vegan again as well. Mara Jalanjit Singh, big up Mara Jalanjit Singh, and Kari Singh Nalawal in the corner with a Kali Fula Singh. So that's a great picture as well. And this is just about poverty and water and everything. Uh, Bhagat Borden Singh, great man. If you might know who he is. Mara Dalip Singh, obviously a great guy as well. 
good. Forget that one. That's just about Mendy, and that's Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And uh, yeah, his companion was actually a Muslim and a Hindu, Pradana. Uh, this is Mata Gujri with the Chota Sai right there. So, yeah, it's kind of a nice little. Right. Oh, wow. Amazing artwork. That's Shiva, isn't it? Is that Shiva? Krishna, Vishnu, Buddha, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Jesus Christ. Powerful, yeah, yeah. And then you have Moses. Oh, is he? All right. I wonder, but someone's missing. Someone's missing. Guess who? I wonder why. Somebody's missing. I can all understand why. <laughs> Uh, so you have Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Christianity and Judaism. But there's one there's one missing. Oh, so this is beautiful as well. Kids. Uh, here's my stuff. Still waiting for an artist here. Very nice. Yeah, so then you got my stuff. Is over here. Yeah, so this is a friend of mine called Tarun 3D. He does like little sculptures and stuff. Amazing, man. It's very beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I need to put the light on. Look at that beautiful. It's gorgeous, man. Look at what this is. A little skull. Ever work. There's some actually ever great work as well. This is all done on there by knitting or by embroidery, which is actually really amazing. I mean, it's, yeah, I don't think people understand how hard that is to do. Uh, I'm not sure if I should show this. It's like some sort of bark. Uh, this is really beautiful stuff, man. I love stuff like this. This is like an amazing kunda. I love that design. Wish I designed that. Obviously, you got my stuff as well. You got Dudden's, Dudden 3D from Birmingham. Yeah, this stuff is like, really great as well. The more closer you look, the more it looks crazily real. It's very odd style. Uh, I've not seen anyone draw like that. It's, it look, it's a weird style. I've not seen style like that. Like when you, when look, this thing looks like a comic, but when you go close up, they look real. Uh, this is the movie that uh, people need to support motherhood. These are very beautiful as well. I mean, look at the intricacy in that design, man. Uh, Evita Core. I'm not sure who Evita Core is, but big up, man. Uh, love, loving the work. And uh, there's a lot of people I don't know exactly who they are. I mean, Bindra Chopra. This is a really great, great one as well. Uh, these are digital. Um, uh, yeah, very, very, very great. I don't know if there's any more around here. Oh, yeah, these are the kids' stuff. 
really great, Golden Onyx Seek Academy. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, amazing. Oh, have a look at that. Better help him up. Get him to stand. We can't have our Seek Warriors dropping down like that. Look how badass he is. Look at that. If only I was like that. Look at that. Yeah, big this guy up, man. His name's Dudden 3D, man. He's uh, someone I know. Uh, amazing stuff. Go into his website. You know, 3D, 3D models. It's looking incredible. Uh, obviously, here's my stuff. Yeah, so what, one of the things is that um, as I've started, I mean, as you progress in terms of your artwork, you start to learn new techniques. So for me, if you see the beard here, it's actually quite good. Um, relatively pleased with it obviously they can improve as well and um, you can see the difference when you look at some of my older drawings like the beard's a little bit more rough here this is around two years old could have got been and um, these beards were a little bit different in style but you can also see this is like a year ago so that's actually quite good actually uh, but when you look at say uh, one of my older drawings a lot of see a bit of difference so this is Guru Gobind Singh Ji this is my first ever sea cart drawing and you can see the beard isn't isn't good to be honest you um, it doesn't look natural and uh, so this is the thing about practicing and practicing um, you can improve and so you can see here the difference in quality yeah I think I've done a pretty good job I changed the eyes a bit from the original Yeah, so this is kind of the life of an artist. Um, you sit around and you wait for people to uh, look at your work and stuff. I don't really like recording when people are uh, ex like looking. I think it's intrusive and kind of puts them off. I prefer them to just look at the drawing without me interfering with cameras and stuff. I don't really talk to them unless they speak to me as well. So, um, you can see I've got my artwork behind me and. Uh, Obviously, um, some of the reasons why I, I like to exhibit is also um, to get feedback. With the Bai Jagaraj Singh, the one reason I'm exhibiting here isn't really to exhibit, it's to get feedback, because uh, I can then tweak it and change it uh, at some point. Um, at the moment, it's been 100% 100%, 100% uh, success rate, everyone's saying that no new, so it looks exactly like him and they're really happy with it. So I'm hoping his wife will love it. So, so far, I, I don't really know what to change. Uh, one of the things is obviously, uh, like I said in my previous video, was the beard. I was a little bit worried, but I think I've done a good job. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, you can, one of the things I always say to you, this is more of an art thing. Um, it is good to exhibit your work, uh, to kind of get a different perspective of how your drawing looks. Uh, otherwise, what happens, you get this kind of tunnel vision when you're in your studio, and you don't really know exactly what uh, your artwork looks like um, outside so things look different when you're exhibiting trust me you will see stuff that you never thought um, when you're when it's in your room when you're in your studio one of the things is obviously uh, 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 yeah, the other thing is that you um, when I'm doing I've always said when I'm copying a picture it's relatively straightforward it's just copying a picture uh, and it's so the artwork looks uh, much more realistic when I'm copying a picture as you can see from the Bayer thing. Yeah, it's relatively easy. When I'm doing artworks like this, they don't look as realistic. And the reason being is because I don't have an actual photo to go by. I have lots of hundreds of, I might have like 200 photos to go by uh, in terms of trying to figure out what the knife looks like, what that looks like, what this looks like, and then I put them all together. And the faces are normally made up faces. So 
Uh, I have this kind of um, thing where things don't look as realistic. They look realistic, but not totally realistic. Uh, like this, this, this looks very realistic. Uh, and stuff like this look slightly less realistic. Um, so yeah, that's kind of thing you can see here as well. Uh, for me personally, I do prefer the um, I do prefer doing artwork, which is uh, from my imagination. So these are all from my imagination, apart from that one there. And these are all from my imagination as well. And so they take a lot longer, uh, much more taxing in terms of way I'm drawing well, much more taxing in the way I'm drawing and stuff um, but overall I prefer the uh, kind of more imaginative pieces 